Hey guys, it's Cory. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Hope you're having an amazing Sunday. Today I've got a great video for you guys. I'm doing a full face of drugstore makeup. I'm also going to test out a new foundation. I'm going to do a little wear test, give you check-ins throughout the day. So if you would like to see a full face of affordable makeup, then keep on watching. All right guys, today I'm going to test out a bunch of drugstore makeup. I'm also going to test out this new foundation by Maybelline. It's the Superstay Active Wear up to 30 hours of wear foundation. I don't know if this is like super new, I don't think it is, but I've just seen it at the drugstore for the very first time. I've recently also seen some sponsorships on Instagram for this foundation, so I was intrigued and I wanted to test it out. It claims to be um, up to 30 hours of wear, full coverage foundation, but a light as air feel, transfer resistant, which is always great, especially now in the time of having to wear face masks, oil free and a seamless matte finish. Now if this sounds familiar to you, um, they came out with the Superstay 24 hour foundation a couple years ago, it was really popular. I remember liking the original Superstay very much, it was very full coverage but it still didn't feel too cakey on my skin. So I'm excited to try this one out, Superstay Active Wear Foundation. I'm gonna do a little wear test, obviously give you check-ins throughout the day and I'm gonna start with this lovely close-up of my skin, all up close and personal in natural daylight. As you can see I've definitely got some bumps on my skin, it's uneven, we've got some spots here and there, we've got some fading scars, we've got texture, we've got pores, we've got it all there. My skin I would say is definitely leaning more towards oily, especially in my t-zone. I don't get too oily like on my cheeks in general, but definitely in the t-zone throughout the day. It just keeps on getting worse. So that will be interesting to see how it performs on oily skin. I tend to break out quite frequently, so if you're interested to see how this foundation wears and if it's something for you, this is the right video. So, but since I'm doing a full face of drugstore, I'm actually going to start out with this primer by Maybelline. I don't know if this new, if they've just brought it back, but it's the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. The reason I picked this up is because many, many years ago, there were these lip balms by Maybelline, the baby lips, and honestly, I was obsessed with them. But this primer, I've seen it for the very first time at the drugstore, it's Instant Pore Eraser, so it is a bit of a silicone primer. I'm just going to... Get some onto the back of my hand here, hopefully you can see it. Right here, it just looks like your average silicone primer. And I'm gonna put it into my T-zone mainly. Push it like on my nose, cause I do have some pores there. And like on my chin. It feels like a silicone primer. So very slippery kind of when putting on. Which is why I'm also only like putting it right in my T-zone where I feel like I have the most pores. Now let me move on to the foundation. Like I said, up to 30 hours of wear. Don't think I'll be wearing it for 30 hours. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I'll try to wear it for as long as possible. I think eight hours is a great time span. I've picked it up in a shade True Ivory. I'm gonna apply one side with a brush and one side with a beauty blender. Yeah, it's very thick, like right when I pump it out. But yeah, this is it on this side of my face. Can you even see a difference with how bad the light is? I mean, it did blend out nicely. I'm not seeing like any like big brush marks or anything. Seeing as I don't really have that much of a tan going on just yet, I think it's actually a pretty decent match. I'm now gonna move on to the other side. But I will say, I think I prefer the side that I applied with a brush. I don't know, not because it gave me a lot more coverage than the sponge did. But I don't know, I feel like it was just a bit smoother, if that makes any sense. I don't know, I don't really... Like, it didn't apply badly with the sponge. I just don't like it as much. And I don't know, it might be the primer, but I feel like it's looking a bit weird, like right here on my cheek. Obviously, especially like these guys here 
you can still see them through. I wouldn't say it's like super extremely full coverage. It doesn't look too bad to be honest, but like I said, I think it might have been the primer. It looks a bit like it clings to the skin weirdly up here on my forehead. Now I'm going to move on to concealer and I'm actually going to try out the Superstay concealer from Maybelline. I've picked it up in the shade Ivory as well. And it just comes in this little tube. And that is the concealer blended out. Can you even see anything or is it just one wide blob where my head is supposed to be? The concealer blended out nicely, so far it's not cruising up too badly. Personally, I prefer to apply like a little bit of concealer. I don't like go full triangle anymore. Because I find for me personally, just a bit like in the inner corners and trying to lift it a bit works best. This is the Cheek Heat, also by Maybelline. It's in the shade Rose Flash. And this is the Sheer Gel Cream Blush. This, as you can see, it's interesting texture. I think I'm just... It definitely is like a gel, but it does blend out. So I'm gonna get a bit of this onto my cheeks and I'm gonna like try blend it with my finger. But I will say the shade is really nice. It's like a nice soft flush. Like it's not too bright like in your face, but it's like bright enough so you can see it and it's nice and natural. But I feel like this could also be perfect like when you wear just a bit of a tinted moisturizer when you like go without any face makeup, just a bit of concealer in your spots and then you put on like a cream blush. And it does say that it's a sheer gel cream blush. So definitely it's not super, super pigmented, like one swipe intensity, but you can definitely like layer it up a bit. I like this product a lot. I'm definitely gonna keep on using it. I'm gonna move on and powder my face now and I'm using the Makeup Revolution Translucent Powder. I've just put it into an empty powder container that I had because the Makeup Revolution one is a bit inconvenient to use, to be honest, with the tiny lid, trying to fit a brush in there. But this is not a new product, but this is the Maybelline City Bronzer and this is in the shade 250. This is a bit darker than the bronzers I own, but I thought, you know what, my bronzers usually don't show up very much. Maybe they're too light. Let me try bronzer that is a bit darker. So maybe that is going to make a difference. Maybe that's going to finally show up on my face. Now that is my face with the bronzer on there. Honestly, it is not super duper dark and definitely it's very buildable. So you don't have to worry about like getting on there, swiping, then it's like a streak of mud on there. I would say though, maybe it wasn't the greatest idea to film like a foundation wear test, trying out some products I've never tried before when my skin is... <laughs> looking like it does at the moment with all these issues going on here but that's just the reality so i think this is a very real test which is also why i didn't want to layer up the bronzer too much on this side because it just accentuates these spots here what i'm just quickly gonna do before i move on to more blush and stuff i'm gonna i'm gonna do something to my eyebrows like try to brush some of the foundation out of them take this essence make me brow gel in the shade blondie brows that is basically how i've been doing my brows lately just chuck a bit of brow gel in there and call it a day all right i'm gonna let this sit on my brows for a second and i'm gonna, gonna brush it through again with a spoolie in the meantime let me move on to powder blush because one blush is not enough i'm gonna use this one by l'oreal and it's melon dollar baby this is what it looks like it's such a great blush i absolutely love this one especially in the summertime and I like really dig in there but what else is new with blush so it might look a bit much especially on the nose moving on to highlighter which is also one that I really like and you can find at the drugstore this is this makeup revolution highlighter reloaded in the shade dare to divulge got a bit of a pinkish shift to it but not too extreme can you see that? I mean, look at it. Yeah, I feel like the foundation also is clinging a bit 
like two hairs that I've got around my brow up here but that again could also be from the primer because it's looking a bit not so nice right here in the center of my forehead now let me put on a bit of setting spray just to melt all the powders this is by makeup revolution it's the matte fix oil control fixing spray now i'm gonna move on to eyeshadow and i was obviously strolling through the store looking for something that caught my eye and I didn't really find anything but then on a little separate stand they had these essence eyeshadow palettes and this is the my power is fire palette they also have these with like water air and earth so it's like zodiac inspired and inside when you I think that is really cute you open it up like this and here you've got like fire hopefully you can see and it just says zodiac signs Aries, Leo, Sagittarius most likely to be enthusiastic passionate and fun I'm a Sagittarius and actually the fire palette was the only one that was left all the other three were sold out I was like you know what that is a sign this is what it looks like on the inside such a nice warm toned palette um yeah that is me in a palette basically All right, that is the eyeshadow look done. I tried to not use this pink shade here because I think that would have turned it into a pretty pink look. So I basically used this orange shade here, then this darker orange red shade, the transition shade, and then this shimmer shade right here. And honestly, I must say, I do like how this eyeshadow look came out. It is very orange and Fiery, to be honest, but I do like it. One thing I will say though, the shimmer definitely performs better using a finger rather than a brush and you had to, for example, this orange shade, I definitely had to go over it a couple times to build it up to the intensity. I wanted it to be, but I think that is alright. I think this palette cost me around five bucks, if even, so it wasn't that expensive and I think for what it is, the quality is pretty great. I have other eyeshadow palettes that are more expensive that have performed worse than this so to finish off the eyes i think this is a new one this is the essence lash princess one but this is the powerful pink and proud curl and volume mascara i know that they do the um lash princess in different variations my favorite one is the the turquoise one i believe um is it turquoise or is it the blue that is my absolute favorite mascara ever. It's a great drugstore mascara. Pinkish one. I think this is a new one. And it's got a different brush. It's supposed to curl and volumize the lashes. It's a bit of a thicker brush than I would usually go for. But I thought I would give it a try because I'm absolutely loving the other one. That is one coat on this eye done. Can you see the difference? Hopefully. I like it. I'm not the biggest fan of the brush to be honest because I feel like I can't really get in there as aggressively I guess as I usually would because I'm a bit scared of the big brush like smearing the mascara everywhere. It did a great job covering my lashes and they do look nice and curled and I do really like it with this mascara to be honest. So now let's move on to lips which pretty much is the last step already. I'm gonna use a NYX lip liner. And this is the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Nude. And since it's a matte liquid lipstick, I'm just gonna dab a bit of it onto my lip. And I'm gonna finish it up actually with this Baby Lips Lip Balm. Now, it just looks like a dark pink that does not match the orange eyes at all, but mm -hmm, it's alright, I guess. The lipsticks is probably gonna be the first thing to go anyways, you know, obviously when I drink stuff and when I eat stuff. But yeah, guys, that is the finished makeup look. That is a full face of drugstore makeup, some old favorites, some things I've never tried before. I basically already had this on for about 45 minutes, and so far it's looking alright. I mean, I've 
been doing nothing but sit here so but i will definitely give you some check-ins throughout the day i think i will film a little close up right after i'm done filming here i do like the bronzer that i used i've never used a city bronzer before but i know it's a really popular bronzer from maybelline i love the blush from l'oreal i love the highlighter these are products that i've used for a while actually but yeah the interesting thing to check out is the foundation i will see how it wears throughout today i will give you the little check-ins i'll conclude this video here you guys i hope you enjoyed it this is a little drugstore makeup look i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already i would love it if you decided to stick around and i guess i will see you guys in my next video bye all right i just got done filming the audio for this clip is going to be really bad because <laughs> i don't have mic hooked up this is what the makeup looks like in natural light mm -hmm. this is such a flattering angle honestly mm -hmm. not really obsessed with this angle hopefully you can see what i meant in the video i don't think it looks too great like right around here and like up here on my forehead i think it looks a bit weird here but other than that, the foundation so far, I mean, obviously I've had it on for like 45 minutes now. I haven't done anything but film, so, mm -hmm. but yeah, it doesn't look too bad just yet. But like I said, obviously I will try this foundation again without the primer. I'll leave it down in the info box what I think of it, so be sure to check that out. And I will see you guys in like two hours or so to give you a little update. All right, friends, it is now almost four hours later. So I've had this on for, well, yeah, almost four hours. Um, The lipstick has worn off a little bit. All I've been doing basically is just I've been out about in the garden and just around the house, lounging around basically. So I didn't really do anything, but this is what it's looking like with my hair's covering. This is what it's looking like after almost four hours of wear. Again, really flat for an angle. As you can see, obviously, I do have texture and you can see it caking a little bit around here on that forehead and also like here. You can see a bit of, you know, not so nice right here obviously where it settles a bit around my nose and you know where i mentioned that i think the primer hasn't exactly done a good job mixing with the foundation to be honest but yeah this is what the foundation looks like after almost four hours of wear in direct sunlight so you can like really really see everything <laughs> you can see my skin is not the best it's very textured it's not exactly smooth or flawless but i think you know that is just that's the reality that is real but it's my real skin i don't have a filter on and this is what the foundation looks like on a regular person you know so a regular person in real life so i think it's all right but for four hours of wear it's not too bad i think i'm now gonna go out and run some errands so i will check in with you guys later so i just got back from running errands we've hit the six hour marks i've had this on for six hours i'm just i just have to flash on so you can hopefully see Mm, I look like a fish, but <laughs> that's all right. But this is what the foundation looks like after six hours. Um, I didn't do anything crazy. I was, just went um, to the shop, so I've obviously had to wear my mask. And I must say, there is little to no foundation marks in my mask, obviously. you can. There's a lot of redness. Um, a lot of the blush from my nose has rubbed off into the mask but there's a bit of the foundation that i had on my cheeks so you can see a bit of a tint in the mask there but other than that the mask is pretty too much clean so i would say they definitely is transfer proof but yeah this is what it looks like um yeah really nice up close and flattering Honestly, I must say, I wouldn't say that there is anything crazy happened yet. Um, I don't think it's like separating or anything. I would still say it looks pretty good, honestly. Obviously, it is creasing a little. Like, you can see it settling into my lines, like, just around my nose here. And, like I said, up on my forehead, around my brows. And I will check in with you guys one more or two more times, depending on when I take it off. Alright, guys, um, that is it. I've officially had this foundation on for nine and a half hours. 
it's almost 10 hours of wear this is what it's looking like again i have the flesh on i think especially because i did go check out in the mirror early on and from far away it still looks pretty good i'd say you know just wore like any other foundation i did actually go on a little walk earlier so i just took a beauty blender and then kind of blended it blended it down a bit like i said it wasn't like an extreme wear test i didn't run a marathon or anything but yeah this is what the foundation looks like guys and it's actually not too bad so again check the info box i will test out the foundation without the primer because i do think i don't love the primer to be honest but yeah guys well that is officially the end of this video and i will see you guys in my next one bye